All right, so I figure the best way to show throttle control is to take the handbrake completely off. So I'm gonna do some wheelies without this thing on here at all, and I'll show you guys. It's crazy what we can do. Yeah. There's no going back. y'all it's nasty nate welcome back to the channel if you're new here please consider subscribing um there's motivation on this channel there's bikes on this channel um there's how to's there's tutorials i got a podcast on this channel but today um i made a video a couple weeks back and i'll link it um what what i think makes somebody a street killer or a goat whatever in the street so what i figured i'd do is I'd go over them because I feel like a couple of them um, I've got a pretty good grasp on especially this one I'm going to tell you guys about today and that's throttle control so when I first started learning wheelies I had practiced in the lot and I was only working on my idle wheelie so when I got out in the street I was doing the same thing I was kind of letting the bike catch idle and then just kind of chopping the throttle not knowing that I was going 20 miles an hour under the speed limit you know until somebody told me so now that um, I kind of got that uh, locked in. Shout out to T Rats from Seattle Bomb Squad Riders. He was the one who originally put me onto this and helping me with this. So um, I'm just going to kind of give you guys a little, I would say, rundown about how I think you can get better throttle control because even if you have strong suits or weaknesses on the bike, you can always get better at everyone. You just got to put in the time, just got to put in the work. So um, today, and the absolutely first thing that you need to do to have better throttle control and i think you know for riding the streets in general i know a lot of dudes like to do drop backs and all that kind of stuff so the idle is a little higher but lower your idle the reason people lose their brakes in the streets i run the stock rotor i've never ever 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 not one time even has my handbrake got a little soft or my foot brake got a little soft ever 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 not once because i barely use the brakes and i only use them when I'm gonna scrape, slow down, or I absolutely need them. Like, I, you know, it's an emergency, I gotta drop it back and I have to, you know, pull it because someone's in front of me or something like that. So what I do, I run my idle at about 25 on the streets. Why? Because when you are wheeling and your idle is high, the bike wants to come back. But if my idle's lower, look, I'm not even. So if my idle is lower, then you're gonna have more engine brake. When I see a lot of guys, what they do is yes, you can float the bike way easier because once the bike comes to balance point, it's going to float. But if you wanna keep the bike moving forward, that's the whole point of riding streets is to keep the bike moving forward and pointed downwards, not to keep getting back and getting to the point where you're at idle and you're about to catch idle. So look, if you can see, I'm gonna take my finger off the brake completely. So what you can do when you're practicing this, obviously use the brake, you know, as a safety net, but I'm at the point now where I don't need it at all and I can do this all day. 
for miles. So I would say the biggest thing that you can do to get over this fear of using the brakes, see my idle is, yeah, at 25, that's perfect, because the bike, when I let go of the throttle, the bike pulls so hard forward, that's what keeps me from coming back. So what I would say the best thing you can do is, is to practice this, is to clutch up, right? Uh -huh. And what you, the fear that you have to get over is the bike coming backwards after it's at balance point. So if you look, if I, I'm at balance point and I shut the gas off, the bike will just float forward. Watch. I'm not touching the brake at all. And it's just dropping. Take my finger off of it. Dropping all the way forward. So that whole time I didn't touch the brake once. But it seems like I do because every time that I get to the point where the bike's about to be at 12, I let the throttle off and the bike chops forward because of that engine brake. So engine brake is 100% your friend in the street. Um, you know, there is times where dudes crank it up. Like I said, um, to float it, it's a lot easier to float it when the idle's a little higher to do no handers, obviously. But on your regular street wheelies, to keep your brakes from going out, lower your idle, get used to the bike. Look, dropping back. That's no brake at all. Straight engine brake. So the whole point there is to get used to the bike dropping back without panicking and touching your brakes. But what I do notice with a lot of people, like I said, that do run their aisles higher, they're constantly touching the brake. They're constantly pumping it. That's how you lose them. I've even heard of guys that told me, um, a couple people that I talked to when I first started riding, hey, you know, how do you keep the bike still when you're doing so many combos? And some people tell me they drag the brake. That is not something you wanna do and that's how you lose your brakes so quickly. But, um, so basically just practice this. This is the easiest thing you can do, I think, to become a better rider is not only will this help you, one, keep your brakes, because that's very, very important, obviously. You know, you don't want to lose your brakes in the streets and you don't want to go backwards and crash and loop out. But this will help you with your combos. Being more steady on the gas while you're doing combos is how you get smoother. So getting to the point where you're riding that point where the bike would catch idle if you had the idle higher see being able to chop it back like that and let the and let the throttle off without using the brake that's how i'm able to stay smooth that's how i'm able to do those no uh brake tricks because i'm at the point where when i actually don't have the handbrake on at all my idle is at two so it's even lower than that so the engine brake is even more powerful but I mean, you can clutch up all day, take my hand off the brake. Frog. Fredder. So what I noticed when I was getting back there, I felt like the bike wanted to pull back a little harder, so I'm gonna low to the idle even more. Like I said, when you have your brake on, there's no need for this, but when I took it completely off, I had to have that lower idle, so it was gonna pull me forward. But um, this is something that I honestly think is super simple and everybody can learn, but you have to get to the point where you're not scared of this. And you can let it chop and you can bring it back even if it comes really far forward and you can whack the gas back and bring it back to where it was but it's that point where right there where people get scared and they use their brake and they sometimes they'll do is they'll just hold their finger on it and they'll ride it that's how you lose your brakes um i i personally don't think 
that the brake is something that you should 100% rely on. I think it should be there as a tool, but I don't think it should be a necessity. I just think knowing your bike and kind of being one with your bike will actually help you, like I said, be more smooth, be able to do more tricks, more combos, um, have more control in general. I mean, like I said, I can drop this thing back obviously not past 12 but i can drop this thing back and slow down without even using the brake because we use the engine brake see how slow i can go so that's pretty that is straight balance point controlled i'm going under the speed limit so you know i'm controlled that's exactly where you need to be, you have to touch the brake one time. I wanted to make this video short. Um, I didn't want to make it complicated. Um, so basically the two things you need to remember when you're trying to gain some throttle control, I think these are just my opinions. Um, you know, everybody has a different riding style, but uh, turn your idle down for one and that's gonna like i said that's gonna give you more engine brake different bikes are different i don't know how it works with the fri uh Gixxer, r6 any of those bikes but for the 2003 2004 636 turn down your idle like i said with my brake i run it at about 28 without the brakes i run it at about two grand just so i have a, a huge amount of engine brake pulling me back forward and then um second step on this get used to dropping the bike back and not resorting to the brake not panicking um not just mashing it because you you know you're afraid get used to that drop back with no brakes and the engine brake will bring you back every single time i've never ever i use a stock rotor um stock caliper nothing fancy over here and i and i i've never lost my brake once in the streets i've never got um brake fade um, my brakes have never even gotten soft not one time so um, I'm making a video these guys are all worried about me <laughs> um, I've never lost my brakes in the streets so anyways guys thanks for watching this video like subscribe comment and I'll see you guys in the next one